So here's a new release that's only a couple of days old, and that is Group Forms in Microsoft Forms. So you might have noticed um, earlier that you can share a form or a survey with someone and give them collaboration access to it, which is kind of like making them a semi-owner, right? So I suppose. Because the thing is, this sits on your name. So the results you can see, you, you might share it on a SharePoint page, but you're still kind of the owner of this. So Group Forms is definitely going to solve that problem for us. If I, if I go into Forms, you'll see that there's a button at the top called Group Forms. I don't have any Group Forms yet, right? But at um, if I go to Recent Group Forms, it gives me the groups that I have. And this is the Office 365 groups. Remember, those are the, the resources and the background that brings everything together for Teams, for SharePoint, Planner, Power BI, the whole tutti, okay? So Office 365 groups is all about the permissions as well, the, the, the group of people. So here I already have access to it. Think like if you'd have a pool for SharePoint groups where you can just add the group and those people have access. This will work exactly the same. So um, here I can then go and say, you know what, for our strategy, I want to create um, a new form. And you'll see that it adds the members automatically on the top right. This means that both myself and the other person that's added in that Office 365 group can then edit this form and update this form. So let's just very quickly do new group form. Um, just to see how uh, how this will work and how this will look. So um, I'm really just uh, putting a couple of test questions in. So oops, spelling. Okay, so uh, so let's see how this thing works. Um, of course, I can still set the sharing and stuff as well, but remember now that this group that I've added it to, <laughs> very cool, this group that I've added it to then also has access to view the results, to make changes to the form, to share it with people. So um, that definitely is quite a cool thing. So if I go back to forms and I go back to group forms, um, we'll see that if I go to that specific group, it then shows the form there. Uh, what is our limitations? Um, is that you can only create 200 forms then per group. So I can have 200 different forms sitting here in this group. It's not available yet for external access, but it's definitely on their roadmap, okay? So the Office 365 group isn't available for the external access, which means that you can't use this um, in external environments. But I'm very, very excited about this. It's a great idea to make sure that we have um, ownership when it comes to the solutions and things that we build because think of it even a server that you build for your department is a solution and you don't want to be the only owner to it you do want to add a couple of other people that actually works with it as well and that um, can edit and update the form so there's a great new um, announcement from Microsoft Forms um, within the last couple of days I think it was launched over the weekend I do uh, suggest that you go and try it out and see how that works for you chat soon